Hello and welcome one and all. This is Old School Gamer 1971 here. Millie, Lloyd, everyone, I hope you're all having a great day. If you would, please like and comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Support the channel and help it grow. Today's thoughts is on Wolfenstein Cyberpilot. I've been playing this game for around three hours and this is what I think. Wolfenstein Cyberpilot, developed by Machine Games, is a VR shooter that came to the PSVR in 2019. Wolfenstein was one of the first first person shooters. It has been rebooted several times through the generations of computer and console alike. It has gone from strength to strength. It has always been a top notch graphical series. This game is set in 1980 same as Wolfenstein Youngblood. This all fits in with the PlayStation 4 generation of games universe. The New Order, the Old Blood and the New Colossus. Machine Games are a Swedish developer founded in 2009 by former employees from Starbreeze Studios who at the time was working on Syndicate. Having many ideas pitched to them by several companies, it was around this time that ID Software and the Wolfenstein IP were purchased by Beth Seda. Close to closing down completely, they requested to work on a Wolfenstein title. ID were impressed by their previous work and agreed as long as they used the ID Tech 5 engine. This title will go on to become Wolfenstein The New Order and they've worked on all subsequent releases in the franchise. Wolfenstein Cyberpilot is set 20 years after the New Colossus and one week before Youngblood. You play as a combat android created by the Nazis and have been reprogrammed to be part of the French resistance, taking command of several different Nazi robots working from within. This is the first VR game in the series, and it's not on the rails. And whilst the maps are kinda small, you can explore them. So is this Wolfenstein Cyberpilot, or is it Foxy Halfpint Robo Ace? Looking at this, it's a pretty good looking VR game. The graphics are crisp and do look like the other games in the series. Set in an alternative universe where Germany won and France is still under German oppression, this all looks great as you make your way through city and building alike. Oh, and the robots look fantastic. You have to take a moment when you're having to hack them to get a closer look because you can sort of zoom it in and out, turn it round, move it up and down. They look great. Like I said earlier, this does look like a Wolfenstein game. The swastika symbol is there and not blocked out or changed. This makes the game easier to get into somehow, it makes it more believable. In some versions of the earlier games, the Nazi symbols were changed as not to cause offence. And whilst this game is filled with robots as well as humans, it seems to fit in well with what has come before and I for one would love to see a sequel to this game for PSVR 2. Come on, we all know it's coming. It's a security checkpoint. That officer is guarding access to the elevators ahead. Please don't let him get to you. Get in and get out. Get in and get out. The guns sound like hell on earth. Yay, because we are dealing with robots. The guns are not limited to what humans can carry, and so we have some massive weapons. Right from the get-go, you know you are in for something special. The first vehicle is a dog with a flamethrower and a charge attack, you know, a big metal dog kind of thing. A drone with a disintegrator that can just disintegrate whatever's in front of it. A giant robot with guns and missiles had to play the last one a few times. It's just so much fun and certainly set this apart from many shooters, VR or otherwise. The robot sounds 
are also great and help pull you into the world. This is all cool and certainly sounds about right. The variety of vehicles all sound different and meaty as hell. They also pack a punch and only the bigger robots pose any real threat to the grounded robots. The drone is rather weak and can be taken out easier. This means a more stealthy approach is required. It's nice to mix things up. Each robot controls differently, but you must also learn its strengths and weaknesses. Learning its capabilities is always fun. Its controls allow for strafing. It will not take you long. And being honest, it's more about being a robot than strategy. This is not a problem, as the original is about shooting things in the face and in the groin. And so should this be, but with bigger and better guns. Whilst the controls feel a little clunky movement wise, the gun controls and aiming are great. The controls are pretty much normal for a VR game. That is not meant a knock on the game, only that until they find the right control system for VR, some games will always feel a little clunky. Here, the game is fun to play and whilst I struggled sometimes, more out of the missions than in the missions, on the whole it only took a couple of minutes till I was back on track. Everything can look good and sound good, but with this game's title and heritage, it is important it feels like a Wolfenstein game. The company took on a lot to make two entries into the series that were both different to previous entries, and whilst not to everyone's taste, a co-op experience and a VR title, I've played both and have enjoyed both, but can understand people who just wanted another Wolfenstein game. It does pull you into the world quite well, it's nice to see something different done, and not just as in the setting, but time period and location. The fact it is all VR really is the icing on the cake. Seeing some of the stuff up close is what I bought the VR for, another level of immersion. This really brings the world and the action to you. The atmosphere is about as spot on as can be expected. For a Wolfenstein game. Well done. I like that this is set 20 years after Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus. It felt novel that they continued with the narrative of Germany winning the war. The setting in Paris is also a pretty good idea. I think the last game I played that had the setting was Saboteur. For the PlayStation 3. VR needs more games like this and whilst not quite as accomplished as the previous entries it is a damn fine example of a VR title. One thing they really balanced right is the size of the levels. They are filled with action and fun as hell to play. Unless you play VR a lot some people suffer almost like motion sickness. I myself do not but making a level too long can be a problem. Here they are quite short, but filled with action for you to sink your teeth into. So Wolfenstein Cyberpilot, it most definitely is. If you are hearing this, you've made it all the way to the end of the video. Thanks for your support. Give it a thumbs up and comment if you enjoyed the video. Please share everywhere as it helps the channel grow and puts a big old smile on this old face. Leave your suggestions down below in the comments. Enjoy your day one and all. Old School Gamer 1971 signing off.